As we said before, a balance sheet is a statement that shows what a company owns and owes. Every balance sheet has two sides. On one side are the firm's assets, what the company owns. And on the other side are the company's liabilities and equity, what the company owes. It is important to remember that assets stand on the left and liabilities and equity are on the right side. In this lesson, we will describe the main asset accounts. Our goal is to understand how these items contribute to a company's business cycle and the nature of the asset accounts in a balance sheet. The cash account is one of the most important drivers for business. It shows how much of the firm's assets are cash or can easily be converted into cash. It shows us the company's liquidity. We know that a business cannot function properly if sufficient cash is not available for its day-to-day -day operations. We must be able to pay suppliers, employees, give change, and so on. The next important item we will see on the asset side is accounts receivable, also known as trade receivables. When customers buy our products, they must pay for them, right? And until they do, we will register this amount in accounts receivable, which indicates the money owed by customers. We, as a company, register we have earned a payment from these customers that has not yet been received. Inventory is the account that shows the value of raw materials, goods in the process of elaboration, and finished goods ready to be shipped to customers. The company has these goods in its warehouse, in production facilities, or in stores. Finished goods are products ready to be sold to customers, while raw materials and work-in-progress goods require additional processing. Raw materials are the basic components we need to create the product, and work-in-progress goods are products that have gone through a few stages of elaboration but are not ready to be shipped to customers and still need processing. Property, plant, and equipment are a group of assets that are vital to business operations. Imagine a production company. It needs plants and equipment to transform raw materials into finished products. Usually, this is a hefty investment that cannot be easily liquidated. The value of existing property, plant, and equipment is reduced each year, or should we say depreciated, to account for the fact that the asset will be obsolete after its useful economic life ends. PP&D is typically made of assets such as land and buildings, cars, other vehicles, furniture, office equipment, computers, plant and machinery, and so on. We should point out that the main distinction we can make between different assets is whether they can be considered current or non-current. Cash, receivables, and inventory are three excellent examples of current items. They can easily be converted into cash. PP&E assets are a great example of assets that are difficult to convert in cash and are therefore classified as non-current. Okay, in this video we explained the main assets we will see in a balance sheet and what stands behind each type of assets. In our next lesson, we'll continue with liabilities. Thanks for watching.